Good morning, Orchard STEM School. This is Mr. Hoydick, the art teacher. Today's lesson will be how to draw a doodle monster house. Now to start with, we're going to need to fold a piece of paper in half two times. Here's a paper and I will fold it in once and fold it in half twice. And then when I open it up, you can see four sections. One, two, three, four. Now, in each of those sections, we're going to draw a room of our Doodle Monster house. In this folder uh, for this activity today is the sheet full of Doodle Monsters. And Doodle Monsters are simple monsters to draw made out of basic shapes. Here is my drawing I've started. You can see in the first room there's a bed with some pillows, a picture on the wall, and a dresser. Now for our next room, maybe I'll make uh, maybe the kitchen. And so, over in this corner, I'll put a stove, some burners, and then here is a pan that the Doodle Monster is using. Over here can be a table, you know, the kitchen table. And right there. And then right in the middle, we're going to put one of the Doodle Monsters. So this is like half an oval and then a rectangle and an oval and a rectangle and an oval and a tail and at the very tip of the tail is a star. Now let's put some googly eyes on this doodle monster and maybe some teeth. There we go. Oh, I'm sorry, there we go. Next. There we go. Next, let's make a living room down here. So, I'm going to make a couch with some cushions. And here's a window. And over here, if we want to put the TV stand, and we can have the TV coming right out here like this. Now, what kind of doodle monster is watching TV? Let's see. Let's make an oval. And down here, let's just make a jagged line. And four lines for the legs. Here's the toes. And let's see, up here, we'll make two circles for the eyes. And let's make a big mouth here that's just chock full of teeth. There we go. And then finally, for our last room, maybe we'll make maybe the bathroom. And so, I'll put a sink here. With the legs for the sink. And here's the faucet. And there's the bowl of the sink. Then maybe over here, we'll put, here's the toilet with the tank, and there's the lid. And then right over here, washing his hands can be here's the hands. 
let's put some eyes on top of the doodle monster and a mouth and some teeth so we can have the water coming out splashing splashing on the hands and then there you go now you can put any doodle monster in any room if you want to practice practice on the back of your paper or grab an extra piece of paper to practice on and when you're done with your doodle monsters I definitely want you to color them in hey enjoy your doodle monsters do your best make sure you uh, take a picture of your creation so that you can add it to our journals all right have a great day bye bye